school YouTube, you know who it is. Chris Jones, represent physique and greatness. I'm over here with the home man. Say hi to the people, man. Hi, guys. Got Sandra over here, about to fuck up some shoulders, a little bit of biceps, or triceps, depending on how we feel after or we train. Or maybe fun. even both, guys. Yeah. We're just gonna wing it, man. We have fun in the gym. Oh, yeah. There you go. And, uh, got me some BCAs right here. And you already know, that pre OG on deck. Go get you about 30 of these bitches minimum. You understand? So, as I get powered up, get my mind right, we're gonna begin. Y'all stay tuned. All right, homies and homies. So, as you see, we're starting off the shoulders and bicep workout with some reverse pec deck flies. Really good for the rear delts. And um, on the very last set, the uh, fourth and final set, I just have to do a triple drop set to really increase the intensity and really get that burn, man. Real delts are really hard to feel. I don't care if you got good form, sloppy form, or whatever. Real delts is one of those body parts that is really hard to connect with. So in order to make sure I actually feel it and it actually gets worked, I gotta feel some kind of pain. So I, most nine times out of 10, I'm gonna do some kind of drop set on that bitch. Or I'll go real light and do like 15 rep sets. But on this particular day, everything was about 8 to 10 reps. Now, if you've gotten my push-pull leg routine, you understand that I like to cycle my reps in intensity. And this is pretty much one of my cycles. I like to cycle my reps in intensity every three weeks. On my push-pull leg program, I cycle the intensity every four weeks. I'm a real big advocate of cycling intensity and rep ranges because there's more than one way to increase overload on the muscle. You know, and uh, I believe cycling the intensity is one of those ways. Of course, getting stronger as well. But if you cycle the intensity, you will allow yourself to get stronger. Constantly beating your body up, beating it to the ground, never backing off a little bit to increase the weight, to increase the reps. You will never get that overload. But anyway, after I did the re reverse pick deck fly, we did a superset for front delts and rear delts. And then we did some standing dumbbell press. I want to give a shout out to my boy, Steven Cortez, for making me this awesome belt. You know what I'm saying? I love it, man. So shout out to Steven Cortez one more time. Real good friend of mine. He has to come to this gym. Gave me this belt like a month ago, but I want to formally thank him on YouTube. So thanks again, Steven. On the standing overhead press, I just did three sets. I did uh, one set with 60 pounds for about 12 reps. Then I did two sets with 80 pounds. First set, I got about eight reps. The second set, I got about six reps. I could have probably got eight reps again, but I don't take long ass breaks. I believe if you rest too long, anybody can get a PR if they take fucking hour breaks. You got to keep it intense, man. Trying to get big. <laughs> My fuck boy get big. They want to look at Pete don't feel. They don't want to go where the big boys at. <laughs> Here we go. Chris Jones is so funny. Like me. Hey, hey. Ooh, look at that form. And after we did standing presses, we did three more sets of Arnold presses. Arnold presses are real good. On the twisting motion towards the top, that's going to involve some of the side delts. And as you may or may not know, side delts is one of my weak points. So I'm doing everything and anything I can to bring that up. And um, on the very last set, the third and final set, I went to complete failure. And I'm going to show you right here exactly what I mean. As soon as I did as many as I could with good form twisting at the bottom, I did about four more just going straight up and down with a little help from Sandra on the spot. You know, I like to do failure and I like to do complete failure. There is two difference. Complete failure and failure is not the same thing. My definition of failure 
is doing as many riffs as you can do with good form. No swinging and no jerking. All right. Then going beyond failure is when you either have somebody spot you or when you shorten the rep range, you know, or you kind of cheat. That's complete failure. I always go to failure on my sets, but I only go to complete failure every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Like on my last set or I might do a drop set or some shit like that. So hopefully that clarifies what I mean by going to complete failure versus failure. I may even do a video on it soon. All right. And um, we did seated dumbbell raises one arm at a time. Then we did cable side raises one arm at a time. And then we went on to biceps. One of my favorite bicep exercises right here is the standing concentration curl. And then we did the reverse curls with the cables. If you're not doing reverse curls or hammer curls, you're really missing out in arm development because that's how you're gonna bring up the outside of your arm, okay? That long head needs to be stimulated just as much as the short head. So be sure to hit your biceps from at least, at least two different angles. Even if you're a beginner, two different angles, okay? Then we did some uh, machine preacher curl to really stabilize that shoulder and squeeze the fuck out of them biceps, all right? And this right here is the final exercise of the day. We did the seated hammer curls, and we, and since this is the very last set, I mean the very last exercise, we decided to go to complete failure. Watch and learn. Complete failure. I did as many as I could do sitting down, and then we stood up and did as many as we can do standing up. And that is only one set. We do that three times. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Holla back at your boy. All right, homies and homies. We just got done fucking shit up. Shoulders and biceps. Be sure to comment below. Let me know what you think about the routine. Don't forget to follow Sandra on Instagram. Take, Take care. care. And you just care Take less. care less. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you follow. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, homies and homies. I'm about to go home and eat. You know, this is a little chicken and rice. And uh, it's real late at night. So I'm going to eat that chicken and rice. Check my emails and go to bed. Don't forget, Tram and Rage. Thermals are in store. BeastMobeJonesCoaching.com. About that life hoodies for men and women at BeastMobeJonesCoaching.com. As always, thank you for the support. More videos on the way. Don't forget to like my shit. <laughs> Comment, subscribe. I'll be back at your support. And your girl. Yeah. All right, homies and homies. We're heading <laughs> home. I have to drive Sandra's car, man. I got Denise following me because we got like a snowstorm coming and gotta make sure Sandra gets home safe. So I'm driving her car, making sure she gets home safe. And then I'm gonna ride home with Denise, man. He's so sweet, you P.O.G. Guys. is family, man. We're a family, man. We're a family channel. We gotta make sure we safe out here, guys. Y'all have a good day.